Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting access is denied to the system volume information folder on your Windows computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by actually copying a couple of commands from the description of my video here. And I'm going to have them in a notepad file up on our screen right here. So both of these commands are pretty similar, except you want to note that where it says account name goes here, this is going to be where your account or user account name is going to go in lieu of this placeholder. So, for example, let me just minimize out of here. So, wherever account name you're currently logged into, so if we open up File Explorer, and we just open that up, go underneath this PC on the left side, double click on your local disk that shows up, double click on users and then it should show your usernames right there MD Tech, that is my user account name right there so we're gonna just make sure we take note of it as well as any syntax or anything along those lines so now that we have it in our notepad file which I would suggest you guys copy from my description and just paste it in a notepad file like I have here I'm just gonna type in MD Tech. again your account name is gonna go where I'm highlighting right now so we're deleting that placeholder and we're typing in. Please do not delete the colons in here. There is a lot of syntax and writing you do not want to mess with. So just keep that in mind. Now that we have this, I'm going to just still keep it on the screen here just so you guys see it. Open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. We're going to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So now we're going to copy our first command from our notepad file now that we've made the modification to the username. We're going to just copy the first line, right click, copy. You guys can use the keyboard shortcut or whatever method you prefer, it doesn't matter to me. And go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, you want to hit enter on your keyboard should say successfully processed one file if you did it right. If it did not successfully process, check your spelling of your username. Make sure you didn't delete any characters in here. And then you're going to run the second command here. So right click copy or like I said, you can use a keyboard shortcut. Just copy and paste guys. No big deal. So top of the command prompt, right click, left click on edit and then left click on paste. Hit enter your keyboard again. It should say successfully process one file, close out of here, and hopefully you guys should be good to go at this point. So once you're done with the system volume information folder, if you want to undo any changes that you went through, you can just do remove instead of grant. So keep everything the same here, except instead of saying grant, you would just type remove. You guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just typing in remove. So it used to say grant right attached to that forward slash, now it says remove. So if you ever wanted to roll it back, you just would type that in, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.